Hey everyone, this is my fourth video for creating my Power App. Uh, this video is going to be from a question I got in my last comment section. And that was, how do you populate these charts based off the gallery selection? So we have some data in our gallery. And when we view it, we can see that we have rate and consumption. Well, the consumption is here in the pie chart and we have rate in the bar chart. How do we populate these pie charts and bar charts based on the selection? So the easiest way to do this is to create a collection. So I'm going to add a button. And this button is going to say Add to Chart. On the selection of this button, what we're going to want to do is create a collection. And so what is a collection? A collection is like a table collected in the memory of the app. So if I were to close down this app, the collection is going to be blank. So when I write a collection, the first thing I'm going to do is name the collection. So I'm going to name it My City Info. So that's the name of our table or collection. And the next thing we want to do is collect three sets of data. The first is going to be the city name. So I'm just going to call it city. So that's one column. That's us naming our column in our collection. And what is this column going to collect? It's going to collect gallery1.selected.city. The next we want to collect is the consumption. So that's the name of our column. And what is that column? It's gallery1.selected.consumption. Our third is going to be the rate, name of our column, gallery1.selected.rate. So now, every time we hit the button on the left side and hit Add to Chart, it's going to write it into the memory of our app. So if we go to File, into Collections, You'll see when I hit add to my chart, we have a table here with our column city, consumption, and rate. So we have Charleston, New York, and San Diego. So now that we have a collection, what we want to do is have our charts use that collection for its data. So right now I have my SharePoint list in here. What I'm going to do is replace it with the name of my collection. So my city info, my city info. So now when I play this app and I hit add, it adds Char Charlotte to both the charts. Riverside adds Riverside to both the charts. Asheville adds it to both charts. Now one thing we want to make sure, since we have multiple charts, is we want to make sure that the colors always match when we add a new city to our charts. By default, it actually works, right? Like when I add Oakland, Oakland, it's orange. But to make sure that our colors, as we change them, we have to use the color set. So when you select on your chart and you go to advanced, you have your item color set. So for the first one, Charleston, it's these RGBA color values. What I'm going to do is erase that and I'm going to make it purple. Now, if you notice in one chart, Charleston is purple and the rate chart it's not. We want to make sure both of our color sets are matching so I just copy pasted that color set right into there. Now the next thing we want to do is we probably want to clear out our collection data so I'm going to create another button and this button is going to clear the data in the collection pretty uh, simple formula. It's just clear and then the name of your collection. So now when I hit play and I clear it out, our charts are blank. We can add Fresno, San Diego, Buffalo, Albany, and you can see our charts build out. There's one more thing that I just wanted to go over and that's maybe if you don't want to have the button up here, maybe you want like a little icon in your gallery and sometimes I think that looks better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the top part of my gallery 
So you can see I have the top part of my gallery selected. I'm going to add an icon. And what icon am I going to add? I want to get something. I wish there was like a an add to chart button. How about that one? How about the little radar? I like that. So I have a, a button here. It looks like a chart, but it's a radar. And we're going to do the same thing as the add to chart button, except for we're going to use this item in our selection. So this time in our icon on the on select property, what we're going to do is we're going to collect the data again. Where are we going to collect it? Into the, our table, my city info. And where are we going to collect it to? Well, for city, we're going to collect it from this item. I missed my capitalization. Dot city. Same thing. Rate. Or I'm going to do consumption first just to be consistent. Consumption. This item. Dot consumption. Same thing. Rate. Name of our column. This item. Dot rate. So now the same thing. We can just select in the gallery, hit the little radar button, and it adds it to our chart. Instead of hitting the add to chart button, maybe you just want a little icon that's displayed with your gallery, and you can populate your charts that way. Um, that's it for my fourth video. Just wanted to show you how to collect data, add it to a chart um, based off your gallery. Uh, I'll make another video probably next weekend. I'm going to try and be consistent, do it on every Sunday. Thanks for watching.